First Nations TV, your news first. You're listening to First Nations Radio as well as First Nations Radio National and also watching on First Nations TV. My name is Rachel Chisholm and with me now is the Minister for Aboriginal Australians, the Honourable Ken Wyatt AM. Hi Rachel, it's good to be with you and it's an important topic that we're talking about because the bottom line has to be that we protect our people, protect our communities, protect our leaders because COVID-19 is a virus that affects any human being. It's neither an Aboriginal issue or a non-Indigenous issue. It's a virus that that has an impact on vulnerable people. And that's why the Australian government has been focused on looking at ways in which we can prevent an outbreak of COVID-19 in our communities. But more importantly, the way we can support our communities through the announcements we've made today. Minister Wyatt, can you please go into detail about uh, who this money is going to and how long will it be available for? It's... $123 $123 million over two financial years. And the first part of it is $50 million to help Indigenous businesses because Indigenous businesses have been growing and they have been important in employing more Aboriginal people. So it's designed to help them survive. The other things we're targeting is certainly uh, $5 million will be used to expand the school nutrition program in Northern Territory so that meals can be provided to children. We'll also be looking at $23 million that will enhance the delivery of critical social support programs because when you lock down a community, then it means that we've got to provide support for alcohol and any drug services that we had operating. But we also want to look at emotional and social and emotional wellbeing projects, family support and youth engagement. The other one that's an important one is ten million that uh, we've given to the land for land councils to allow them to address uh, infrastructure needs uh, and the people returning to homeland. Yes. So if they need a generator for electricity, then the land council can provide that. Or if it's a water tank for potable water then they can do that. So this is an important uh, program that will enable people to go back to the safety of a homeland if they believe that is the better place for them. Also, I noticed that there's $10 million going to Community Night Patrol. Yes, there is, because the Community Night Patrols have been a glue in connecting with young people and families in returning them. But some of them will be operating during the daytime as well. Uh, to provide a point which young people can come and talk to them, have a yarn about issues. They're not totally isolated, uh, but it has to be done in a way that doesn't compromise health risk. Well, thank you, Minister Wyatt, for taking time out of your busy schedule to speak with us here at First Nations Radio, First Nations Radio National, as well as First Nations TV. Rachel, can I also thank you because you and your radio station and television station are absolutely important to making sure that our people in remote and regional Australia get the information they need to make the judgments they have to about protecting their community and protecting our families, our culture and our elders. First Nations TV, your news first. Yeah.